الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته كما سوري السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم أبريوان and I hope that you have you will have إن شاء الله a very successful fruitful prosperous peaceful stable 2017 this is our first communication in English in 2017 after Christmas and New Year we need to start with remembering our or my golden or magic Tuesday which was three days ago Tuesday 17 1984 was the day that Islamic Leaf was born 33 years ago and Alhamdulillah that Allah has given me the life and the ability to live to see Islamic Leaf after 33 years we started 33 years ago on the same golden magical Tuesday 17 of January was 20 pence. Today, Islamic Relief, Alhamdulillah, spent over one billion pound in many countries, responding to many disasters. We celebrate only not the money that has been raised and spent by Islamic Relief, but also the quality of people that we have produced and let them go to work in different international humanitarian and governmental agencies. Not only that, but we managed also to create a new climate, a new atmosphere to allow organizations from the South and the East to be a real partner with the organization from the North and West. We managed to bridge such a gap and build the bridge between the international community in the West and North and UN agencies and such small local organizations from South and East as well as Muslim charities. This is why we say that Tuesday 17th of January 1984 was the birth and three days ago it was the 33rd anniversary of such a date and a day. So this is a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has given to somebody like me and others who show or have seen the birth and the continuity over the last 33 years. Today we are talking about different subjects all together. The subject is about technology and about social media. But let me make a statement that we believe in technology, we need technology, and we need to use social media. But not to be used by social media and technology. We need to master and to be in control of our technology and not be in control by the social media and technology. We don't want to become slaves of such technology and social media. But we are very strong believers. We are very strong believers in the technology and social media. Next, please. Next, please. The more we become intellectually able, the less reliant we would be on our physical capability. And this is the history of man. The more we become more intellectually able, the less reliant we would be on technology. On, on our physical, no, not technology, on our physical ability and physical power. Next, please. When we look at such images, this is a few thousand years ago, when we were relying mainly and heavily on our physical power. 
So it is to walk, do everything manually, plant everything manually, and build our houses by our own hands, and travel either on foot or horseback or other means of transportation. That's why our physique was so strong. Next. The more we become reliant on technology, the less our physical power became. That's it. Our body is not as strong as it used to be because we start to have some sort of technological ways of controlling and managing our life. This is another, maybe this is 30, 40 years ago, and this is the shape of human being in the 50s, 60s, 70s. And this is what we can see nowadays or in the future. Totally managed and managing by technology. Totally managed by technology. So we don't want, we don't rely heavily on our physical power as it has been happening in the good old days. That's why when God has created Adam, alayhi salam, peace be upon him, his, his height was about 60 arm length, which is equivalent to 40, foot, 40 feet. So that's why he was so strong, powerful, and tall to enable him to establish life on earth. But now, this is one of the sons and daughters of Adam, which could be four or five feet uh, for, for foot long. This is the mean of communication. Sometimes in the good old days, we used to use fire and smoke. Different smoke, different color of smoke would give signals to different tribes in Africa and Asia about the world situation. Even now, it's still in Rome about the election or the choosing of the Pope. Actually, we get with the color of the smoke. The flying pigeon, which carrying a message from A to B to C, and kept developing it as human being to become a telephone, to become, before that, a telegraph, telephone, fax, machine, and uh, nowadays, what we can see, it, the social media, the internet, and all the cyberspace technology. So the same happened used to walk, transportation, then we used to have animals, to ride animals, then carts, then bicycles, then, 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 and the space shuttle, and airplanes, and uh, trains, steam train, and electric trains, and other means of transportation. So development of technology has helped mankind to govern and to run the life of human beings on earth. What harm can be caused by technology, especially the social media? First, losing our ability to focus. Losing our ability to focus on the event surrounding us because our children are locked in a dark room for for many hours every day. It's number one. Number two is the social media itself replaced, becoming a mean, replacing our physical visits to our family, friends, to our relatives, to our neighbors. We are now replacing such a physical visit visits by sending a message or putting a like on the comment on the Facebook, okay? Risk of rapid and controlled changes. There's too many things have been happening on the social media and you cannot be in control of it. Reducing societies, societies from societies into individuals. Because when we are locked in such a dark room, we think that this dark room we are sitting in is our society. It's only a window. It's not the society. So reducing the whole society, the communities, the nation, the country, the state into small individuals. 
to be controlled very much by the uh, technology of uh, social media. Increased dependency syndrome who cannot function without it who became imprisoned in the technology of the social media who become like uh, totally depending on it in everything okay that's why this kind of slavery we need to discuss it later next one Lose, okay Many strange and weird ideas coming to us from different parts of the world without knowing and vetting who is behind it. Okay? Many new celebrities that be being created by the number of likes they have in the social media. You have one million likes, I have 50,000 likes, she has two million likes. What likes means? What the like means makes you a celebrity. Whether you are a scholar, whether you are a star, whether you are whatever you are. It is a tick box make me or you celebrity. Negative effect on the languages we speak. We lose our original languages. The Latin languages, uh, English, French, German and others. The Arabic, Urdu, Bengali, Gujarati, and you create a new language which does not have any root, any root, to spoil the original language which has been uh, used in the text books that Allah has revealed to humanity. The values, the values, our manners, our culture. Our ethics, because we have been bombarded by many, many new, strange ethical values that have been liked by the many that we don't know it is origin or the origin of the people who likes such values or culture. Most importantly, the rise of cyber-related crime. Trafficking, terrorism, extremism, radicalism, everything you can imagine is coming, what you call it, rise of cyber-related crime rates and the emergence of online piracy. Nobody has a copyright of him or herself on what they produce. Everybody, every, everyone is actually copying it. Even I experienced the statement that I have written recently in Arabic and English. Okay? And I found one of the, my friends who is not an Arabic speaking at all, and I know him very well, he put it in his Facebook to get three, four hundred likes. Without acknowledging, I I'm, not, I'm not somebody who is actually fighting hard to be acknowledged. But the least, I put it three days ago, and my friend has put it the following day as his uh, statement. This is something which is hurting, especially if it's a book, if it's a piece of poetry, uh, if it's an art, and nobody knows how can you protect such pirates from taking it. Okay? My advice now is do not become a slave to the technology. This is the talk of today. How we must learn to stop using it for an hour or two hours every day. Switch off. Switch off one week um, uh, a month or one week uh, every few months. Or get out to some place which you cannot use technology. This is number one. Number two, have time to meditate and to reflect to God's creation. The magnificence of God's creation in the planet. Look at the trees, the stars, the moon, the night, the sunrise, and everything. 
and relate ourselves to them. Listening to the Holy Scripture of God, Holy Quran, Bible, other teaching of God, the songs shrine beautifully to relax yourself, and so on. Reading. Let us go back and hold a textbook in our hand. Hold a textbook in our hand and read it. Let us go back and start to write by hand as we used to do it in the good old days. Write by hand. Try to change the status quo. Okay? Spend some time with your family. Unfortunately, when people at home find that the wife with an iPad, the daughters, the sons, and even in the same room, they communicate with another by sending a message. I was in a meeting, in one of the board meeting, and we were about seven, eight, ten people, and they found that two people are actually on the the telephone sending messages criticizing the people who are actually making the discussion we have to stop the meeting and tell them respect the people in the meeting and open up the discussion okay spend time with the family spend time with friends and when you are with the family or the friends stop using it receive more guests at home Nowadays, we stop inviting people to come to our houses. Okay, next. Sleep at the normal time. The night is for sleep and the day is for earning your living. As God has told us or has created us to function this way. Next, please. Visit historical places. Such as, you need, this is, when you look at the ancient Egyptian civilization, it's not just statues of temples or tombs or color or sphinx. No, it is science, technology, very advanced to our time. We have to see how those people have managed to build such civilization and to learn to be more advanced than them. Also, living, uh, visiting the cemeteries, the graveyards, this is the only place which is guaranteed for all of us, and none of us will escape living in it. So not only for a day, or a week, or a month, or a year, but could be for years, for hundreds of years, or for thousands of years, or forever, as we believe in it. And this word, this forever, is, could be for as many thousand years as will be. So we have to prepare ourselves to such a time when we are going to lay down, to lie down in such a very narrow, dark, damn place. To remember our origin and our future. That brings it back. Traditional markets. Why I'm talking about traditional markets? Like cattle market, like seed market like second-hand clothes market, to reflect and see how the other members of our community and our society are living in a very traditional way of life and managing to create the informal economy, which could be in some countries 40 to 50 percent of the economy of such a country. Next, please. Exercise. Go out. If you are an old man and a woman and walk every day or run every day or swim if you are actually swimming if you are a member of a club or something go and do swimming every day or every other day if have a shower every day to refresh yourself in certain area they might not have the privilege of have swimming or jogging or even have a shower but have some of this Use public transport, more public transport than actually your private vehicle. You know why? To interact and to connect and listen to the people and to be patient. 
to what they say and learn from them. If you are in the car by yourself, yes, it's good, but you do not learn more than those people who are actually interacting with other members of the society on a bus, on underground, on a micro bus, whatever you call means of transportation. Okay. Volunteer. Be an active member of the society. Go and help the blind, the disabled. Go and clean the window of your neighbor. Go and visit the sick in the hospital. Be a volunteer of any uh, uh, social activity, whether in the country itself, whether in the neighborhood, or abroad. Have a, go have a goal for you in your life. You cannot, we cannot be a human being if we live without having an aim and the purpose for our life. Even animals have a purpose for their life. is to, 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 to make family, to protect the children, and to produce more children, more, more offspring for themselves. If the animals and the birds and the insects have purpose in their life for their life, why don't we have a purpose in our life or an aim where our, our God has created us to be the custodian of humanity and the leader of all the creations of God? We can't live like shadows. We can't live like on the side of life. But each one of us must have a, an aim to try to achieve during his or her life. Watch less... Uh, spend less time watching TV and drama and music and MTV and all this kind of dance and bands and all these kind of things. Okay, next please. Who is behind all this damage? Okay, who is behind all this damage happening to us from the social media? Those people who want to make a quick fix, a quick uh, uh, win or a quick uh, uh, profit, okay? control technology and who are trying to control the destiny of people to achieve a quick gain and money. Those also are trying to impose their new community policies on others, to divide communities, to make friction between members of community, to make a conflict between members of community, like what we see nowadays in different countries, to, sp to, to, to spread a strange ideology, radical and the extreme ideology, to our societies. This is the general aim. Okay. Who are behind this? Could be the technology, the creation of technology. Let us talk about, be positive on what we have. Because every good aspect of life has intruders. Such intruders will, will spoil it. But who is creating such technology? Could be people who are innovative, innovative young, young people like most of you, ambitious. Could be scientists with good work, researchers, academic institution. Could be businessmen with good intention, who make profits for their company. But could be crime, criminal. Could be criminal organization, could be gangsters, could be terrorists, could be radical group, could be extremist groups, try to infiltrate the cyber space of every society. So why are we talking about the businessmen, the scientists, the ambitious young uh, uh, men and women who also have to be very careful about the criminal gangs or trying to infiltrate to, to this cyber? Security, of course, some of the security are having to have the technology to protect the society, to protect the community, to protect the country, to protect the nation, to protect humanity. Because the role of it is security and the intelligence is to protect and stop extremist idea, radical idea, and terrorist idea, or the organized uh, uh, crime uh, uh, of the cyberspace. Okay. Of course, uh, official media also have the control of technology as well.
The big ask now is, if we cannot manufacture technology, can we recycle technology, especially social media, in a way that it protects our society? It saves our society from losing its identity. If we cannot manufacture it, can we recycle it to protect our society? Okay? And save it. What do you mean by technology recycling? Technology recycling is a process that can protect and strengthen. Protect what? Our surrounding cultural, moral, and value-based climate. From what? From a strange, stream, and radical ideology. This is the climate from outside. As well as strengthen our societal immunity, the immune system. It has to strengthen the immune system of the body of the society, the infrastructure of the society. Okay? Through building it is infrastructure based on the pillars of faith, value, and culture. So, technology recycling, protecting the surrounding climate, and the strengthening the infrastructure of the society. How to recycle the technology? First of all, teaching, teaching technology and its principle to the poor and marginalized community. Number one. Number two, makes it as a subject at the educational curriculum. Number three, encourage the youth to become specialized in such subject and make it as one of the pillars of our social life. So here I am saying again that we are not against technology, we are not against social media, but we have ethically to recycle it, to let it to become a protective and strengthening tool of the society, rather become a divisive, destructive tool of the site. Create networks and fora and other platforms to protect our society through the process of technology recycling. All these things we have to do to protect our society, to help our governments and to help our, to help our security and others and our institution to protect the individual, the citizen of the society. Now we need to come to an end and to conclude by saying yes, we believe in technology, yes, we believe in social media, but no, we don't believe in slavery. No, we don't believe in dependency. We believe that an independent human being can use technology, can use social media, can be independent, can be free thinker, can be, can be free believer, and can be free community worker to help everyone and to start to, 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 to use technology to build the society, not use technology and social media to divide and destroy the society that we live in because we are the custodian of such society or humanity as our Allah, God has created us to carry on such a role. Thank you very much.